Hello once again YouTube um, it's I enemy for you and today I'm going to be showing you how I make all my audio react uh, videos um, I know it's probably simple for some people but other people have asked me uh, how I do it so uh, I'm going to show you um, basically it's um, it's not something I made myself um, I don't take any credit for uh, credit for it. Um, they're just uh, templates that I downloaded, and basically it's just a project file for uh, Adobe After Effects. Um, you just input the music that you want, change the uh, text um, and whatnot. But uh, of course, there's also the um, the chance there to edit it yourself a little bit as well. But uh, I'll go into that into another video some other time. Uh, but basically. Um, there's two different ones that I'm using, well there's two different audio react projects that I use at the moment um, and if I click on my mu music videos down here let me just pause it for you so you've got the very simple just the bar audio react and there's the round or there's the other round one that I use um, by the way guys it is, a, it is a lot better quality if you stick it in 720 or in the case of a, some of my videos 1080 um, but yeah uh, but basically what you want to do is you want to go to this website which I will post in the description and you want to download either one or the other um, this one isn't the exact same one as I use uh, but uh, y you can use it um, that's see the download for that one that that one's v1 just the line and the circular one uh, is project v2 but anyway it's just the same to edit that one as what it is to uh, edit project 2 or audio react 2 anyway once downloaded uh, I'm sure it comes in a raw file but anyway it's, you'll have what I've got um, you'll get project file and font, what you want to do is you want to install that font if you don't know how to install a font then go and check another video or oh, easy enough it's just uh, you go to computer go down to windows, go down to fonts and just drag and drop and then it's installed, uh, but anyway you want to open the project file so in my case my Adobe After Effects loads quicker when I don't load a project file at first but yeah, what you want to do is you just want to double click on it and open it. Uh, yeah, I'm recording at the same time, so it seems to be a bit slow. Oh, here we go. And guys, I apologise if my mic isn't sounding too good at the moment. I'm using my webcam mic as my uh, separate mic broke. So uh, the quality is not very good at the moment. Let's just wait for this to load up. Right, what we're going to do is you want to open, double click on the project file, um, I've got CS6, uh, Adobe After Effects CS6, I'm not sure what this uh, project was made in, but anyway it'll just say it's going to be converted, uh, if you haven't installed the font then it'll bring up an error saying that the font's not there but don't worry about that, um, you can still edit, um, now there's uh, Okay, there's nine different templates here for you. Um, oh no, no. There's oh, there's a few different templates for you here anyway, uh, without you having to edit them yourself. Obviously, your your day, uh, your night. This one I used in my first audio react. You got matrix, sexy, dark force, uh, ocean and you've got your default for this one I'm just going to use default so what I'm going to do is I'm going to close all these off you don't need to have them open uh, they just open because that's the project file for you right anyway now what you want to do is you want to find a song or a track that you want to uh, put into here I should have had mine preloaded but apparently I didn't uh, this is a random song that I put in, which is 
these are my partner's songs, not mine, by the way. Will I am, this is love. Um, now, what you want to do is, now that this is loaded up, uh, basically just drag and drop the song into default or drag it into project, whichever of both ways it should come up in project. Um, once you're in project, you want to click it, left click it, drag it onto song, and then you should notice it come up obviously under the song tab now. Now what you want to do is you want to go back to project and you want to see how long the song is. So as you can see this one's 4 minutes and 42 seconds and 17 milliseconds. That's uh, It's good to know that one is as well. Um, right Now what you want to do is you want to go back to default and to remember 4 minutes 42. So highlight them all, go to composition, go to settings and it was 4 minutes 42 so we're going to change the duration to 04 4 minutes 40 oh, hold up I've kind of forgotten 4 minutes 42 17 right. 4 minutes 40 ok now what you want to do is you want to change that again to 04 42 now there is 17 milliseconds, so personally what I'd do is I'd round it up, always round it up one, uh, unless it's at like 50 milliseconds, then round it up a couple or something. Uh, and once you've done that, just hit OK. Um, I'm not sure what it's like in any other Adobe After Effects. Uh, you, you, sometimes you have to drag the end marker because obviously they're not long enough. But anyway, uh, once you've done that, if I scroll across a bit, you can see that already it's already knows where the songs are it's already got you know audio wave um, effects in it as you as you can call it so that's basically the whole gist of it that's the only thing really that you need to do and then you can uh, go into add it to the render queue and yeah namely what you want and blah 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 um, but just a quick warning I mean my PC um, I don't have the best PC at the moment. I do have a quite a nice PC, but I don't have the best. But as you can see, um, I mean, as soon as I hit render, it will put a lot of strain on my PC, puts a lot of strain on my graphics card, um, and it takes two hours to render for me. Well, two and a half hours uh, here or there. Um, so I'm not going to record me rendering it. But anyway, yeah, that is how you edit uh, or how you make. Let's call it how you edit slash make um, an audio react on a song for a video in Adobe After Effects uh, CS6. Uh, I'm sure it works the same for the others. But anyway, thanks for watching YouTube and uh, goodbye.